The 12 Most Bizarre Actions by World Leaders From time immemorial, the actions and decisions of world leaders have shaped the course of history. However, not all of these actions have been sound or commendable. Some, in fact, have been downright strange or foolish, leading to widespread ridicule, international embarrassment, or severe consequences for their nations. Here's a recounting of 12 such baffling deeds. Number 1. Caligula's Bizarre Affection for Incitatus Gaius Julius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, more famously known as Caligula, has gone down in history as one of the most eccentric and unpredictable Roman emperors. His most infamous eccentricity was his unusual affection for his horse, Incitatus. Not only did Incitatus live in a marble stable with an ivory manger, but historical sources like Suetonius suggest that Caligula planned to appoint the horse as a consul. This was not a mere symbolic gesture, in ancient Rome, the position of consul was a highly prestigious one, often held by individuals on the path to even higher office. Furthermore, there are suggestions that Caligula even made Incitatus a priest, highlighting the emperor's derisive attitude towards Roman institutions and traditions. Number 2. President Saparmurat Niyazov's Ego-Driven Calendar Revision, 2002 Turkmenistan's president, Saparmurat Niyazov, known as Turkmenbashi, leader of the Turkmens, took narcissism to a whole new level when he decided to rename the days of the week and months of the year. But these weren't arbitrary changes. Many of them were renamed after himself, his family, and even titles of his books. Most peculiarly, Niyazov renamed the month of April after his mother, Gurban Sultan, and even went as far as renaming bread in her honor. These acts of self-aggrandizement were part of a broader cult of personality Niyazov built around himself during his rule. Number 3. Tsar Peter III and his Peculiar War Games, 1762. A rather eccentric and seemingly naive figure, Tsar Peter III of Russia is often remembered for his curious fixation with toy soldiers. This wasn't just a mere hobby, he dedicated vast amounts of time orchestrating mock military parades, maneuvers, and battles in his private chambers. So engrossed was he in these war games that he reportedly went as far as ordering elaborate state funerals for the toy figurines that he deemed to have been killed in action. Such childish preoccupations not only led many in the court to question his mental stability and capability to govern but also contributed to his general neglect of pressing state matters. This disengagement and perceived immaturity played no small part in the coup that led to his overthrow and eventual death. Number 4. Nikolai Ceausescu's Monument to Megalomania, 1984-1989. Nicolae Ceausescu, the authoritarian leader of Romania, in his drive for grandiosity, embarked on one of the most ambitious construction projects of the 20th century, the People's Palace, now the Palace of the Parliament, in Bucharest. Spanning 365,000 square meters, this colossal structure is not only the world's heaviest building but also a testament to Ceausescu's unchecked power and ego. To realize this gargantuan project, he ordered the destruction of a vast portion of Bucharest's historic heart displacing thousands and obliterating countless historic buildings and churches. The irony is stark, while the nation's economy was in shambles and its populace suffered from severe food and energy shortages, resources were being poured into this monument of excess. Number 5. The Destructive Influence of Rasputin on the Russian Monarchy, 1907-1916 in the turbulent final years of the Russian Empire, a single figure stands out for his inexplicable and profound influence over the royal family, Grigory Rasputin. Hailing from Siberia and bearing no significant formal education or status, Rasputin was nevertheless believed by many, especially Tsarina Alexandra, to possess a miraculous ability to alleviate the symptoms of her son Alexei's hemophilia. As Rasputin's influence grew, he began intervening in political decisions, often nominating or dismissing key officials based on personal loyalty rather than competence. The Russian populace, already disillusioned with Tsar Nicholas II's governance, grew even more discontented as tales of Rasputin's debauchery and the royal family's apparent dependence on him became common knowledge. This weakening of the monarchy's reputation, exacerbated by Rasputin's involvement, set the stage for the tumultuous events of 1917 and the eventual collapse of the Romanov dynasty. Number 6. 
Emperor Nero's Theatrical Exploits at the Olympics, 67 AD Emperor Nero's reign over Rome is littered with tales of extravagance, cruelty, and egotism. Among his many peculiar actions, one of the most infamous was his participation in the Olympic Games held in Greece. Nero, ever the showman, not only entered various events but also made sure the rules were bent to ensure his victories. For instance, in the chariot race, despite falling off his chariot and not even finishing the event, Nero was still declared the winner. He justified this by saying that had he completed the race, he would have won. His meddling didn't stop there. Nero also added musical contests to the games to showcase his singing talents and unsurprisingly won those events as well. By turning the revered Olympic Games into a farcical display of his self-indulgence, Nero disrespected the spirit of the competition and drew the ire and mockery of both the Greeks and the Romans. Number 7. Muammar Gaddafi and his Amazonian Guard, 1969-2011. One of the most enduring symbols of Muammar Gaddafi's 42-year reign as the leader of Libya was his cadre of female bodyguards, often referred to as the Amazonian Guard. Dressed in military uniforms, complete with high heels and makeup, these women were hand-picked by Gaddafi himself. While their striking appearance often grabbed headlines, Gaddafi insisted on their loyalty, claiming that women were more trustworthy and less likely to be influenced by rival factions within the military. Rumors swirled about the selection process, with many believing that they had to be virgins and were made to take an oath to give their lives for him. Beyond the spectacle, there were darker undercurrents to this story, with several former bodyguards later claiming they were subject to abuse and sexual exploitation by Gaddafi. Number 8. President Yehya Jama's Dangerous Medical Claims In 2007, the Gambian President Yehya Jama startled the world with a bold declaration, he had found a cure for AIDS. Not only that, but this supposed cure was a concoction of herbs which Jama personally administered to patients on certain days. Images of him laying hands on patients and providing them with his miracle cure were broadcast on state television. These actions were met with widespread condemnation from international health organizations, including the World Health Organization and UNAIDS. They pointed out the inherent danger in Jama's claims, not only were they baseless, but they also threatened to undo years of public health campaigns. By promoting a false cure, JAMA endangered countless lives, giving false hope to the desperate and potentially discouraging the use of genuine, effective treatments. Number 9. Robert Mugabe's Extravagant 93rd Celebration Amidst National Despair In 2017, Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe threw a birthday bash that was nothing short of extravagant. Celebrating his 93rd year, Mugabe's party cost an estimated $1 million, with a guest list that stretched into the thousands. The event featured a feast of wildlife, including an elephant and a lavish cake weighing nearly 200 pounds. This indulgence came at a time when Zimbabwe was in the grips of a dire economic crisis. Hyperinflation, unemployment, and food shortages plagued the nation, with many of its citizens living in abject poverty. The contrast between the president's opulence and the widespread suffering of his people drew sharp criticism from both national and international observers, who saw it as a glaring display of his indifference to the plight of ordinary Zimbabweans. Number 10. Mao Zedong's Disastrous Ecological Campaign, Four Pests, 1958-1962. The Four Pests Campaign, initiated in 1958 under Chairman Mao Zedong, was an ecological disaster. The campaign's aim was to eliminate sparrows, rats, flies, and mosquitoes. Sparrows were particularly targeted because they were believed to eat grain seeds, thereby reducing crop yields. However, the large-scale extermination of sparrows led to a surge in crop-eating insects. Without their natural predator, locust populations exploded, decimating grain crops across the country. This ecological imbalance, combined with other ill-conceived policies of the Great Leap Forward, directly exacerbated the severe famine conditions that would follow. Tens of millions perished in what is now considered one of the deadliest famines in human history. Number 11. Kim Jong-un's Propaganda Pop Machine, The Moranbang Band. 
The Moranbang Band, an all-female musical ensemble, was established in 2012 under the direct orders of North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un, comprising young women who were reportedly hand-picked by Kim himself. The group's musical repertoire blends Western-style pop with North Korean revolutionary themes. Their performances, often replete with synchronized dance routines and grand visual displays, serve a dual purpose, entertaining the elite of Pyongyang and advancing the state's propaganda. Through Moran Bang, Kim Jong-un has attempted to project an image of a modern and culturally progressive North Korea to both domestic and international audiences. Number 12. Boris Yeltsin's Unpredictable Antics and Public Intoxication, 1991-1999. Boris Yeltsin, the inaugural president of Russia post-Soviet Union, was as known for his political decisions as he was for his penchant for alcohol. His frequent drunken public appearances became fodder for both domestic and international media. One of the most widely reported incidents occurred during a 1994 visit to the U.S. security personnel found Yeltsin, clad only in his underwear, outside the White House. The Russian president was attempting to hail a taxi, reportedly in pursuit of a pizza. Such episodes, humorous to some, were symptomatic of the larger chaos and unpredictability that characterized Yeltsin's tumultuous tenure as president.